Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So you guys, with the summer carnival ending really really soon, it's probably less than the amount on the board over here by the time you guys are watching this video, I figured I would make a little video on everything that you need to do before the summer carnival leaves. First up is make sure to spend all of your tickets. Spend as much as you can and try and get everything that you could possibly want. I recommend trying to complete the little turn in checklist I guess you could call it over in the prize tent. Try and complete it or at least get up to the Clyde Steel so then you can also get all of the event horses because you want to make sure to have uh, one of each of the event horses while the event is still going on. Same thing with the accessories and items. You want to make sure to get it all now while you still can because they will rise in value in the future. So you want to make sure to turn in all of your tickets and get everything that you could possibly want from this event because when the event is over your Tickets will be converted into tokens and will not be worth as much. Um, next up, make sure to get all of the limited summer resources. So the summer resources are watermelons and corals. You can find corals along the beaches and you can get watermelons from doing the races on Carnival Island. Now these resources can be used to craft summer limited colors, the coral colors and the watermelon colors. Now when this event leaves, so will the resources. So you want to make sure to have a bunch stocked up in case you need some if you want to craft like accessories, tack. And I know that a lot of people usually want watermelon because you can craft like watermelon pink and stuff from it. Um, so definitely have a good stock of watermelon because they do come in handy to have. So definitely make sure to stock up your watermelon and your coral before the event leaves. Next, I'd actually recommend trying to get the Clydesdale because for some reason in this event the Clydesdale seems to be worth more than it usually does at this time in the event. I don't know I really only have one Clydesdale like I have not been getting very many or finding very many and I heard that people are selling them for like 100k at market stalls like and the event is still actively going on like they just seem to be more expensive right now so I would try and get them while you're while you can since they're less common. Um, because they may be worth a lot in the future. Same thing with the other event horses, like I mentioned earlier. Just try and get the event horses while you can because they will just grow um, in value with time because they are limited to this year and they will never be returning, unlike some of the other accessories. The accessories and dyes and things usually end up coming back, but the horses will be limited to this year. And then another thing you can do is just make sure to have fun at Carnival Island while you still can. Try and get some fortunes from Ruby and Pearl because they are fun and I heard that there definitely are some interesting ones um, that you can get from them. And just try and enjoy the rest of your time here in the Summer Carnival. It will be leaving. It's a lot of fun, you know, hang out with your friends at the beach party, do the games, get your fortunes, all that fun stuff because once it's gone, it will not be returning. And we're not sure if it's coming back next year. Um, it's unclear whether or not it will be returning, but you never know, so try and make the most out of it while you still can. Um, this video was kind of short, honestly. There's not really a ton you can do before the event leaves besides obviously playing the event, but I hope that you guys were able to find this video useful anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.